so I can see you. I can't put my face on. We're live. No, we are not. Stop. <laughs> oh, sorry. Put your face so I can see you behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm not gonna start out a stream giggling. I can't help it. Hey, Dark. I said you're gonna make me start out a stream giggling. I can't help it. Tracy, hang. Excuse me. Why am I up here already? I don't know. I didn't hit the button. You did. I did not. You fibber. You are. I swear to God on my life, I didn't hit the button. I hey, Kristen. Look. I'm removing. Dark just wants to be a whole part. Look at her. I'm gonna hurt her. <laughs> we were trying to fix this ahead. You guys, I can't even get my shit together right now. I'm sorry. Hey, Kristen. For you, everybody, a few minutes to get in because I don't want to. Um, this is an important story, and I don't want to restart it and restart it and restart it and repeat and repeat and repeat. So if anybody joins in in the middle, it's really um just to kind of start a discussion. So, oh, I forgot to put my little banner up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm getting good at this. Oh, shit, what did I do? What did I do? I did something wrong, did something wrong. Holy moly. Am I back up there again? Why am nope. I back up there right now? <laughs> I did not do it. You just want to be here with me, I think. No, you're doing it to me. I know I'm not you are. Doing it to you. Okay, I'm gonna try to drop you back down. Okay. Uh, don't push no button. I'm okay. Dark will be with me later, but I don't know why she keeps popping up. It's so funny. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Dark. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Raquel. Am I missing anybody? Guys, it doesn't matter if we have a small group tonight or whatever, but um. I just thought this would be like a cool thing with everything in the world going on in these days. I, you guys know I try to do like a crime thing once in a while because I get nervous doing it because I always feel like I want to make sure I give whoever I'm talking about justice. Like I don't ever want to do it in a bad way or a disrespectful way or mess something up. You guys know I get paranoid about that. So, um, so we're going to do, I don't know if you guys have heard about this Malaysia Booker story, but she was a transgender girl, woman of color, who was murdered in Dallas, Texas. However, the big um, deal with this was four weeks prior to her being murdered, she was beaten up on a video and the video went viral all over the internet and she was actually on facebook live and things like that which we'll get into but so pretty much the discussion is kind of like does being on the internet put a target on your back is it a good or is it a bad i mean i don't know um you know transgender women there's a ton of uh, transgender people in general not even just women but i've looked up some statistics i can't ever say this right statistics and the statistics are not good. Hi, Speedy. So I'm going to give it like a few more minutes just to see if anybody else is going to come in. Hey, Breezy. Miss you, girl. I try and I like to do justice to everybody. And I hope that I can tell the story right. And the, really the, the point is, is let's just have a conversation, you know. Does being on the internet put a target on your back? Is this is really bad with the trans transgender community that these women are or men, transgender men or transgender women are sucked into this world of, you know, working. We'll get into it all, but um, it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. When I watched, it, Dark has told me about this story for a while. And I watched it and I really got into it. So I kind of went a little bit crazy. So we got some videos, we got some stuff. I got some, la, 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 I cannot say this word. Statistics for you.
So, and I will drop the link at some point. And if you guys or if anybody feels the need, they want to come up and they have an opinion, as long as it's a respectful opinion, which I don't ever have to worry about that with you guys, because you guys are all wonderful. You know, I mean, let's just talk about it. So, okay. So it's been, it's, I, I know there, wait a minute. Okay. So has anybody, let's start with this. Has anybody heard of the Malaysia, hey, Diana. Has anybody heard of the Malaysia Booker story? She was a tra transgender woman. In <laughs> oh, now you put yourself up, ma'am. I didn't push the button. I did it on purpose. Bye. Okay, good. I'm going to hurt her. So I found some statistics, guys. And in 2020, the highest number of transgender people were murdered. Murdered. Nearly all of them were women of color in the last past five years. And more than half were killed in Texas. I don't know what's going on with Texas. Exactly, Christian. So this is a big story, though, you know, so. So let's let's um. Let's first talk about Malaysia Booker. I'm going to put her a picture up here so you guys, I don't know if you have seen her before, but I'm going to share her picture. Oh, here we go. This is Malaysia, okay? She... Um, Dallas, Raquel, actually half, I'm sorry, I, I misread that. 2020 highest of transgender people, people, not women, murdered. Nearly all of them were women of color. And in the past five years, more than almost half, near, I'm sorry, in the past five years, nearly half were killed in Dallas, Texas. Crazy, right? And no, just in Dallas area. I read that wrong, so I apologize. Nearly half were in Dallas, Texas. That's serious, you guys. Like, you guys, when you hear this story, like I said, it's to start a conversation. You know, unfortunately, when we come to the end of this, you'll see the guy hasn't gone to trial yet. So we don't have, like, you know, a lot more information or details, but we have what we can. Okay, so... Malaysia Booker, it is a lot, right? Oh, Raquel, that's the story. Raquel, you just broke it right there. Here's the deal. Could it be a serial killer? And here's the deal. Could The deal is with her, she was assaulted, okay? She was assaulted due to a car accident, beat up very badly. Everybody was recording. I'll get into the details of that. We're going to show the video, so trigger warning. You guys, the video is kind of edited because we got it through MTV. So it's kind of edited. I don't own the rights, whatever. I'm just saying that now. But point being is it's a lot. So they were trying to say, like this whole episode of True Crime, which I found out was, was the assault, did she get murdered due to the fact that she was in the spotlight due to this assault that went viral on Facebook. So, Miss Malaysia here, she grew up, her mother gave an interview. She said she was bullied most of her life. Um, they called her a jelly bean. They said she was hard. I got my, my, my nerd notes, you guys. She was bullied a lot. She was very hard on the outside. So they said she was really soft on the inside, but she was she had like a defensive mode up because unfortunately she was bullied so much. So she ended up doing Facebook Live. She always said she was going to be famous. She wanted to get, and not just Facebook Live. She really said she wanted to get into broadcast journalism. She wanted to do all these things, okay? So she ended up with like 20 plus, 20,000 Facebook followers. So her mom said when she really started going through the transition and stuff, she ended up going to the LGBTQ plus community. And that's where she met like two dads. But let me um show you guys. Do I have the video dark or do you? This is where I'm getting screwed up at. 
I have the video. Okay, we're gonna show you guys a video real quick. Go ahead, Dr. I'm to the Malaysia's live room. Malaysia was real big on story time. Facebook Live gave her a platform where she was story time. Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. She talked funny things going on. She talked about real life stuff that was going on. This is Malaysia. This is Malaysia, you guys. So it it is a lot, Raquel. It is a lot, Kristen, too. Like can't imagine do you want to replay that dark you want me to replay it yeah let's replay it because i think you you wanted to and i i think i cut you off a large fan base online welcome to the malaysia's live room malaysia was real big on story time that's Facebook her second live. guess gave her a platform where she was story time good morning good morning good morning beautiful ladies and gentlemen she talked funny things going on she talked about real life stuff that was going on this live gonna be ready because i'm still in my neighbor's wi-fi and <laughs> she was talking about her um well, so I, that makes me giggle she was talking about her um stealing wi-fi from her wi -fi, her wi-fi was raggedy <laughs> i just love that so i'm trying to put oh wait a minute i'll put us up so or i'll put me up real quick okay all right, guys. So here's the deal. Let, let's let's talk about Malaysia real quick, okay? She apparently had a nine to five job till she was 21, but as she got older and she was transitioning, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I looked up the stats on this. Most trans people, not even just trans women, but most trans people in general, they are just even though there's no discrimination at work, there is discrimination at work. You know, they don't want to hire you because. You know this issue they said that she got pee thrown on her at a fast food restaurant like she really went through a lot so she like i don't want to say a beast in a bad way but she you know she built up her defense you know she she was keeping everything good and she went on she was going on facebook lives and she was doing all these videos she ended up with twenty thousand followers you know they really did um a good job with her videos i'm gonna play a video at the end and it'll probably make y'all cry because it made me cry so we're not gonna get to that yet but turned out um also i found out the unemployment rate for trans people in general is double because they can't get a job you know like we say oh we're not going to discriminate we, we we're not going to discriminate you're not going to discriminate but unfortunately people do just like an elderly person nobody's going to hire a 70 year old man to work at you know home depot or lowe's like sorry not to say those words like a call out a community or anything but like they say you're not supposed to ask your age you're not supposed to ask this you're not supposed to ask that but unfortunately there's discrimination in the world that happens so this is how everything kind of started with Malaysia, you guys. On April 12th, she was in an apartment complex, okay? She backed up into a car. It was like a itty bitty, itty bitty fender bender. Nothing really happened, okay? Then a few minutes later, we're going to show a video, okay? So you guys, trigger warning, but it's edited because it's on MTV. So we decided we didn't want to show the real version. We're going to show the edited version hidden you're gonna we're gonna show the edited version but i'm gonna give you guys a quick synopsis of how this goes down after she had a fender bender she went to pull off the same car she had a fender bender with ends up pulling into her bopping her really hard into a you want song. Me to play that video hold on as soon as i get through this we're gonna play it so then what happens is i'm gonna read you guys exactly how they said it in there literally a minute later there was about a dozen people outside two minutes later at 5 25 there was a two dozen people outside 10 minutes later i'm sorry five minutes later they had a full crowd it was like 100 plus people and 10 minutes later malaysia she's out there like what y'all gonna do she was like in defensive mode so of course people were blaming her they were saying, well, why was she so defensive? Well, guess what? She's in fight or flight mode. She's been bullied her whole life. All these people are coming at her. What can she do? Okay. So this is when she gets attacked. Now, Dark, yes, let's play the video now. 
<clears throat> We're going to show you guys a video trigger warning, okay? It's edited, but trigger warning. This is, this is just the, the car. This is the car hit first, and then you'll see where the assault happens. Okay, wait a minute. Stop real quick. This was, we don't have the original where she backed into the person, but this silver car, apparently she backed into it. Okay. And they came after her and ran her into this sign. Okay, go ahead. Well, the next one is, can you see okay. it? This yes. Is so the next part is this man. Sorry, Doc, do you want to talk? No, no, no. I Go ahead. Okay, so the next part is the guy that's driving the car gets out the car and he ha he's next to this guy in the white shirt, okay? And he says, I'm going to give you $200 to knock him out. Number one, they used the wrong pronoun. So that immediately was going on. All these people, as you guys read the timeline, with that, within 10 minutes, there was over 100 people outside in this apartment complex. So everybody's crowded around her. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna show you the video. That's the car. Yes, Raquel, that's the car that she hit. She backed into with a fender bender, and I guess they done it. So now she's out. We're gonna show you this part of the video. She's in the street because all these people are coming out at her, and she's kind of like it's like fight or flight mode. Like, what is she gonna do? She's been bullied all her life. Let's play it, um, dark real quick. This is the fight. This is the fight. This is what happens, guys. And they cut it up so you don't see all they of cut it. it up so yeah they cut it up so we played this version because i think this is the best version we should play on here all these people turns out no one helped her everyone recorded women helped bring her these women carried her to her car I after know. she was beaten Okay, can we rewind that and just show one more time the guy saying $200 and you can play the audio on that? We're going to show the audio on this, guys. Again, trigger warning. <coughs> Bear with us. We're trying to do this the best we can. Okay. She's outside at this point. Way, the guy in the white. Oh, I didn't go back. Walks up to the side. This is the fight. The guy in the white. There goes the crowd. Mm. Oh, somebody should have stopped this. The man in white continues to beat Malaysia while the other men join in, punching, kicking, and taunting her as she tries to escape. You guys see that? Then these women jump in. It took for the women to break in and break this fight up. It looks like these she's women and her up jump and in the and break the fight up. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to put me back up. Hold on. Okay. So these women jump in to break this fight up, right? So this happens. I mean, everybody's sitting there recording, right? Nobody helps. Nobody helps her. Nobody helps her. And if you guys remember, it is hair. It, it's disgusting. It breaks my heart. So whether it's a transgender woman, man, kid, adult, whatever, like a person, I mean, doesn't matter. It's really gross. So they, um, ugh, it's a little rough, right? <laughs> okay. So the part that gets me, though, is the guy that hits her has the first video that Dark played, if you saw it. It says, I'll give you $200 to go knock him out. They call him a him. They call Malaysia, who is identifying as a her, a him. So I am hope and please, God, if I'm not using the terms right, forgive me. I'm trying my best here, so just bear with me. So anyway... So they get this. She ends up with a concussion, a facial fracture, a broken wrist, right? Now, all of a sudden, 
four weeks later, after this video goes out, this woman's dead. Okay. So I'm going to explain to you guys now what happened in the four weeks. So, you know, everybody kind of wanted to be anonymous because nobody, of course, no one wants to tell anything. <laughs> the comments are going awful slow tonight. You guys must be like stunned. I don't know. <laughs> um, this went this went viral because of this video. It went on Facebook. It went viral. There was like more than a million views on this video. I, I found the original video. However, we are not going to show the original video. It is devastating. I don't want to um, send anyone into any type of, you know, you guys know we're careful about what we do. So, okay. So this was all over the news. They were saying it was hate based. Um, the Dallas PD tried to focus on all the attackers. The problem is. In one minute. The problem is they, it, it is stunned. So we're in a minute, we're going to show you guys something, but they tried to focus on the attackers. The problem was the, the main person was the guy in the white shirt. Okay. Most of the witnesses remained anonymous. We have not heard me and dark actually tried to research it. We cannot find who the guy was that hit the car that offered the man $200. But we're going to show you this picture. This picture is the guy that assaulted her in the white shirt. I want you guys to see how big he is. Go ahead, Dark. Put it up. This is the man that started beating her. Do you see how big he is? Look at him. This man is huge. His name was Edwards Thomas. He ended up... Oh, Dark, we see your fast forwarding. I don't know why, but hold on. Oh, she's going to show you something else. This is when they arrested him. They found him two days later. He was hiding out at a friend's house. Okay. Hey, Maria. He was hiding out at a friend's house. He had a previous record for assault and burglary. And when they found him, he actually had a stolen 40 million, 40. How do you say it? A 40 um, caliber handgun that was stolen. And all the other attackers to this day, all the other people that jumped in on that remain at large. Like, he, all the other attackers, they still, to this moment, have not been prosecuted. Um, I will say this real quick. We can tell you guys this. He, Edward Thomas, got prosecuted in this case, but he only got misdemeanor. Hold on. Let me just read it. He was charged with felony aggravated assault and a hate crime. But because in Texas, gender identity is not listed as a hate crime yet on the books. He just got misdemeanor assault. Hey, Teddy. Well, here's the thing, Teddy. She got murdered four weeks later, so... You guys are going to hear about this. He does tower the police officers. And I know um, even Malaysia's friend said it was hard for her because she was tall and she had a deeper voice and she was going through the transition late in life. She was going through it at 20, 21, 22. So she, um, you know, her voice was still a little deeper and things like that. And so she was getting, she was having a really hard time with that. So when she turned 21, her mom said, hey, Teddy B., she reached out to the LGBTQ plus community and she got like, a, um, she got like, apparently, and I'm not saying this wrong because it was said on the video in the gay community, they have gay dad, gay mom, gay family. Like they say, they call it their gay family. Um, she got two gay dads. She had a gay aunt and I'm using the words they use. So just bear with me guys. So, I, just so no one's offended. I'm using the exact words that were used. So, here's the thing. Four weeks, she did, um, the Dallas PD focused on the attackers, okay? So, they went in, you know, everything got, he got arrested, but then, here's the crazy part. Eight days later, she took stage at a Dallas rally. You have that dark, right? 
She took stage at this Dallas rally. She went up. Go ahead, Dark, play it. She went up. She talked about her assault. It's really sad. She was talking about her assault, saying that she wanted to bring attention to it. Um, you know, but here's the problem, guys. You know, everybody that becomes an activist, right? They said Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. I mean, any look, they get murdered. Do this is here we're at this point, like, and I guess here's like where the conversation comes from. Did she put a target on her back? She got so much hate mail. She got so much hate mail and so much crime, like so much um, hate on the internet. They actually put her in a hotel. The feds put her in a hotel room and she could have no social media, no cell phone, no money, like no nothing. She couldn't do anything, okay? All of a sudden, she did a live. Dark, do you have that last live she did? Because I have it if you don't. Do you which, have that or do I have it? Which live? The last live she did, they showed it where she was like, I'm getting ready. Do you have that? I can find it if you don't. I probably do, but if you have it queued or you can I don't have it queued, but I can find it in a few seconds if I need to. Okay. Go ahead. Because I know it's in the video, obviously. i just not sure where because we didn't put the timestamp. Yes. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah. So this is I want to give you the story and this is how we're going to make. You know, this is a, a great conversation because we need to figure out, like, does this should help you? So, okay, I'm going to show you guys the last live she did. Where is it? You guys know I'm terrible at this shit. Hold on. That's that. That's that. Oh, here it is. Hold on. Screen share. Bear with me, y'all. Share screen. Chrome tab. My Xfinity share. Hold on, let me see. I want to show it to you guys. Big time. All right. Let's get it. Packers were still at large. Make money, she was in lap. You got to tap it. Show. First looked at Edward Tom. Oh, I just had it. I dropped her off. It can't be easy. No, it's not it. Where was the last live she did? I just had it there, and I don't know. Those people who take treatment is prescribed and get to and stay undetectable can no longer. Dark, can you mind it for me? I don't know what I did. Don't take Dabato if you're allergic to its ingredients, or if you take Dabatolide. Taking Dabato with Dabatolide can cause serious. I don't know what I did. I did something, and I don't know how I got rid of it. I'll look. Hey guys, you guys know I'm so terrible at this. So anyway, she did a live. I'm going to talk about this while Dark's finding it. Sorry, Dark. I love you. <laughs> what would I do without Dark, you guys? My goodness gracious. So the night before she was murdered, she went live. And she was saying, I'm putting my best face on and all this. And her second dad said he was going to pick her up. Okay, so the police um, ended up talking to her. He was dropping her off at the block. Apparently, the block met in Dallas. That's um, where the transgender community goes to sex trap. Like, not sex traffic, but sex. They sell sex. Okay, and this comes into the problem with discrimination in the world. And I'm going to show you guys these statistics really quickly. I hope that you guys can um, appreciate this, these stats, because they're really important. And I'm going to read them, but I'm going to put them up as well. I'm going to put these statistics up as well, because this is really, you know, this breaks my heart, y'all. So hold on, share, share screen, major foundation. Okay, here it is. 
In 2018, at least 26 deaths of transgender people in the U.S. fall to fatal violence. The majority were black transgender women. Nearly three out of four are transgender and gender expansive youth. Here, their family make negative remarks. 40% of homeless youth are LGBTQ+. In 30 states, LGBTQ people are at risk of being fired, refused housing, or denied services simply because of their transgender. 84% of transgender youth do not feel safe in the classroom. Unemployment rate is three times the percent. 58% of transgender people report facing some type of mistreatment from law enforcement and police transaction um, interaction. 52% who stayed at a shelter were harassed, attacked, or sexually assaulted. Four out of eight transgender adults have reported suicide. 2982 transgender murdered in the last 10 years in a dozen countries. 47% of transgender people are known to have been assaulted. That's almost half of the community have been sexually assaulted. One in three transgender people report living in poverty. The stats are extremely sad, y'all. It is. They are extremely extremely sad dark it's the one right before they show she's going live she's in that striped dress i had it she's saying i'm putting my best face on i'll find it guys or dark will find it and we'll definitely show it um she went out one night the one night she left her she called him his sec her second gay father and he did an interview it's right before the second um father did the interview dark um sorry guys i had it queued up and i don't know what i did to screw it up let me see if i can find it i think this is it hang on already had to be from this person hang on lisa i think this is it money percent there it is i got it escort. this is it that was malaysia right that's the one i'm playing yeah okay you got it cool okay, you got you it rewind yes. it play yours yes sorry let me rewind it just a tad it's hard to so do this. So this is the last live she did before she was murdered, There's guys. There's a lot to unpack here. It, transgender women swear they exchange money for sex. She was in hey, this That was Malaysia. I hope the boys appreciate that, because I'm going to have this mug. Was Malaysia killed by a client? There's a lot to unpack here. So... She said, I'm putting my best face on. Hey, Katie. Hey, um, Scotland. Sorry, didn't see you guys join at the end. I apologize. Um, so that's the last live she did. She called her second dad, who was TJ. He said he dropped her off as a block. We didn't know what the block was. Oh, sorry here. I'll just put me up. Sorry. So we didn't know what the block was. So what he explained the block was was where um transgender people went to sell sex she ended up being an escort doesn't deserve her to be murdered right but the deal is she d he was the last person to see her he dropped her off so they interviewed a few people the police did because <laughs> two weeks later another person i want to show you guys this picture of oh where is it chanel lindsay two weeks she was found okay let me back up a second malaysia was found behind a golf course in the middle of the street okay they said that um they feel like she wasn't murdered somewhere else. She had to be murdered there because if you were going to hide a body, you're not going to leave it in the middle of the street. But they apparently shot her and she was found in the middle of the street dead. Between four and five in the morning, they feel like she was dead. So they interviewed a bunch of people from the block, which they call it. Okay. They said she got in a Lincoln LS. 
okay? Light colored. That is the lead that they have. Exactly, Katie. So that, well, I don't know if you were here, Katie, but um, the statistics for transgender people to be in like the working community is really bad. And I'm going to go over them at the end. And oh, why is my banner not playing? It has the thing to support the channel and it has the Malaysia Booker Fund. If you guys want to find out anything more about her, um, I found the mother's page. She started like a page for her and it has all the stats on it. I'm sorry. I wasn't playing that. I thought it was going across the bottom. I apologize. So, oh, this is so bad. You guys just like really get to me like, because I hope I'm, when I'm telling this story, I'm doing it justice. So. The Dallas PD focused on a bunch of people. The only lead that they had was she got in a car with of a light colored Lincoln LX, okay? Two weeks later, a girl, Chanel Lindsay. I'm gonna show you guys her picture. It uh so bad. I'm going to show you guys her picture. One second here. See Chanel? Turned out that Miss Chanel was the fourth, number four, you guys. Hey, Christine. I hope I'm doing this good, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. So, turns out she was number four. I'm going to give you the timeline because I wrote it down. I take notes, guys. I don't play around. So <laughs> you guys may laugh at me. But in July of 2015, a lady named Shade Schuler was killed. May. She was a transgender woman. In Dallas, by the way. May 2017, Armani Morgan, transgender woman of color, murdered again. May 2019, Malaysia Booker, transgender woman of color, murdered. July I'm sorry, June 2019, Chanel Lindsay. Her body was found two miles away in a lake from Malaysia's body. Which they were thinking, is there a serial killer out here? Like, do is there a serial killer killing transgender women, killing transgender people? Um, this is not the same, but I remember in Delaware back in, was it in the 90s, I believe? There was a guy going up. We have a, a split. It's called Route 13 and 40, and it splits. And a lot of prostitutes are there. And this man, we had a serial killer there, and he was killing women. In our little state of Delaware, he was killing women. And he finally got caught. But it was crazy. So, you know, they thought back, is this a serial killer? Is this a serial killer? But then, of course, everybody said, this is where we're coming back to in the conversation, you guys. Before I let you guys know, if you didn't see it, tell me what you guys think. Put a one in the chat if you think it was the guy that attacked her. Do you guys think it had something to do with the man that attacked her? Hey, Jane. Or do you think it was somebody just in general? You guys tell me what you think. Oh, I'm going to put this up again. What do you guys think? It had something to do with the man that attacked her? Or something to do with somebody else. I had to wipe my eyes and blow my nose. I was getting like emotional. This is, yes, this is Chanel. She was murdered two weeks later, but okay. So, okay. So ended up when she got murdered four weeks later, it came out 
everybody said, where's this guy? Where's this guy that attacked her? He was, he, they released the information. He was out of jail, which is crazy, right? Why should this man be out of jail? He bonded out two days later. The deal was though, he ended up, he had a, um, a house arrest bracelet on. So they found out that he was not, um, I don't know if you want to show the picture of him again, but oh no, we won't do it. No, 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 not him yet. <laughs> He, we found out that he was not associated with the murder of her, okay? Turns out that they found, and it wasn't even related, okay, guys? Sorry, I'm looking at my notes because I want to say this correctly. A couple weeks later, they found this guy named Kendall Lyles, okay? He got arrested in a drug a drug deal gone wrong. It was a drug-related shooting. Turns out he drove a Lincoln LS, light colored, which was the only lead they had on Malaysia's murder from the block, which everybody told them. They went through his phone records. They um, they went through his phone records. They went through. Um, like his his timeline of stuff and i'm sorry guys i just got this weird message i apologize they went through his phone records they pinned him to being at the block picking her up and being at the place where she was murdered so his name is kendall lyles you gonna put him up now dark i'm sorry they found him so they thought did this man <laughs> thanks lisa <laughs> did this man um murder chanel did he murder armani did he murder um the other i don't want to mess up her name i'm so sorry i want to show all these people justice and i feel like i need to read their names correctly miss schuler did did he kill all four of them? Is this a serial killer? Well, it turns out his records um, only matched to Malaysia's. Eventually, they found somebody else, which I don't have any more information on, on Chanel Lindsay. We don't have the information on that. They did find someone else that was um, involved in her murder, going by phone records, but it was not him. The problem is, right now is he has not gone to trial yet he got arrested in 2019 or we, th this is why we don't have so many details about her murder because there's no there hasn't been a trial he's still held in dallas county jail we don't know if there's a confession they haven't said we, there has not been a trial because of covid um but, and they're saying that they don't know if he's connected. He, they know he's not connected to the Chanel Lindsay murder, but we don't know if he's connect, connected to Armani Morgan or the Miss Shade Schuler's murder. So we're not sure. So pretty much there is a Malaysia Booker Fund. I have it going at the bottom. You know, it gives us details. But the point of me telling this story, you guys, hate crime crime. True crime. Blah, 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 blah. True crime tribe i can't say that word right um send dark your link we'll put your um channel in the thing um true crime true, i can't i can't say that damn channel you got to change that name girl i can't get it out my mouth true crime tribe <laughs> she does some awesome work she has a small channel like me so we'll help build her up as well but yeah so he is now sitting in jail guys and it's pretty much we're at a waiting hopefully he'll be convicted because obviously he was this man that killed her the point i guess of all this is is they're saying that a lot of these johns that come out to the the block which they call it in dallas where the transgender people prostitute because because of they can't find jobs and can't find this and can't find you know it's a hard world that then these people these that come out that have sex with these people they're not the people that they have sex with don't always disclose 
you know, their genders or whatever. But it's known on that place of the city, they it's known that they are transgender people. So from what I got I gathered. I will. Um, true crime, I, I will sure do it. Um, if you want to share your, you can't share it, but if you can DM it to Dark, she can share it as a mod or Tracy. One of them can share your channel link. But yes, um, I will give that when you tell me the story later. Yes, I will. I have no problem doing it and I have no, I'll do a story on it. No problem. However, okay, guys. I lost my whole train of thought here. Okay. <laughs> so you guys know I get all jacked up. Of course, true crime, you can send the video. Um, point being is, guys, do you think that if she was at, okay, forget the, not forget the assault, but say that assault didn't go viral. Do you think that this man found her? Based on her being in the spotlight. Do you guys think that she just happened to be, it was all a coincidence? Or do you think he found her based on her being in the spotlight? And he went, he went down this block looking for her purposely. And maybe these other women are victims of serial killers. Because apparently it's not connected. They figured that. You think wrong place, wrong time. I'm wondering if because she was on the internet that he went looking for her particularly. She did do a video saying she got hit in the face with a gun at some point. I don't know. What I mean, what do you guys think? Let's talk about it. This is what I'm saying. Let's talk about it. This is why I told the story. I hope I told it. Malaysia Booker and Malaysia Booker's family. I don't know if you're watching or if you're going to come across this video. I hope I did justice in regards to your friend and your daughter and your family member. I hope I told this story correctly. I truly do. But, I mean, you guys, this comes into a lot of play with what's going on in the world today. You know, a lot of kids are committing suicide over internet stuff. You know, adults are ending up in terrible places because of internet drama. Like, I mean, do you think that he picked her out purposely? Do you think that he just found her by accident? Is it all a coincidence? What do we think? No. Sorry. What do we think? I told you. I told you. I said it. What do I think? I yeah. think she was work in her area and she was at the wrong place wrong time i really Did don't think he that picked her out from the videos honestly i don't think that really probably had anything to do with it because I they all not. you know what i mean they all are down in that area right so he obviously went down in that area and they don't know if he had something to do with the other women that were killed yet either right so well, they said that he's definitely not dealing with the Chanel Lindsay case, the one that was right. after. Right. Yes. Definitely not her. But, but we don't, don't know the previous that. ones because, unfortunately, there there has not. Hey, Susie. Unfortunately, there has not been anything. Like, there hasn't. We don't have, like, the transcripts yet because he hasn't been in a trial, which kind of sucks. So, yeah, it's been since 2019, so who knows when it'll go to court. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it'll go to court soon. I'm um, hopefully to get the transcripts and we'll follow up on it. But the point of me doing this story was really like first of all, bring awareness to the transgender community. This is bad. Like these women or men, transgender men or transgender women should not have to go out and do sex work because they can't get a job. Because no. the employers don't want to deal with the stigma. And then I liked, I really liked what the, um, the guy on the MTV special said. He said, you know, these people are the Johns that go out and they know that that area is for transgender people. So they feel embarrassed. They feel ostracized. They feel shame because they're having sex with these type of people. 
you know, they, they, they're, they're, you know, so they're more, they have more of a hatred for themselves and then they take it out on this, these poor girl or poor woman or poor men. I just can't believe how many are in Texas and in, and then in Dallas, Fort Worth. That's, Dallas crazy. Yes. To me, that was surprising. I mean, it isn't, it but it is. Oh, Susie, you might have to rewind a little bit, but um, pretty much I'll give a gist who just came in. Transgender woman was assaulted. The video went viral. Four weeks later, she was murdered. So we're saying, and this was the question on the show, do we think that this person sought her out because she was did she have a target on her back because she was um, famous in the YouTube or famous in the Facebook? Not famous, but you you guys know what I mean. Well, like she had twenty k followers. That's not shabby. No, it's not shabby. That's kind of good. Like so. Yeah. Do you think because she spoke out at the rallies and she was a strong woman and you know her her um the one they call her second gay dad and I'm saying that because this is the word that they used. Her second gay dad, he said, remember he said, she gave me a kiss on my cheek and said, I love you. And she never really does that. Remember? Mm -hmm. He said yes. that in the show. And she did a video one time saying, I got smacked with a gun in the face at one point. And she was like, so, and when you die it's over, but she was being strong and she spoke out and. Ugh. I just don't think that guy, like. I, don't know. I, I think if somebody from, you know, when she got um, beat up, if that if it was a result of that, then it probably had more to do with the Internet. I just think that guy was psycho. And. You know, I'm just wondering, do you think he had something to do with the previous two women? I don't know. He looked pretty scary. <laughs> he does look pretty scary. Oh, I'm saying he looks mean and scary. And did you guys see how big, how big that dude was that assaulted her? I, I don't know if I could, I wasn't looking. I don't know if they actually saw him standing there with the two officers, but he was huge. The guy that beat her did. up. He, um, someone in the chat said he towered over the officers. Yes, he was crazy. huge. Unless they were like five foot one officers, he was huge. And they tried to blame her. They said, oh, she got in defensive mode. Well, listen, I'm sorry. If there's a bunch of people around me, I might start cussing and going crazy too because I'm going to be like, oh, hell no. I'm not, not going to cower out. And like. I would have ran. So You know, I, I mean, what? I don't know. If she would have ran, would they have chased her? You know, you That's never know. Would they have shot at her? Yeah. Who knows? That's true. Like dark skin hair. <laughs> Thank you, True Crime Tribe. You know what, Kristen? That's what we kind of thought. But they said in the video that this place called The Block, it's known. That's where transgender people go to do their sex work. Like, apparently, that it's, like, known. That's the area that they go to yeah. do it. So it's, yeah. like, known for that. I don't know if I'm saying that in the right way. I'm really, I'm really skeptical. Yeah, I, I hope I'm not. Girl, you know I get worried about saying anything wrong. But I know. You're saying it right, though. That's That area is known for that. So nobody says That's where that. they go to do that, right? Yeah. And they say that most of the Johns, the people that go out there to buy sex, they have their own shame and their own disgust in their mind and their own, um, they feel ostracized and their own hate for them own, their own selves that they end up taking it out on the person they're with and who knows yes a lot of them don't disclose that has been a thing some people don't disclose their genders and they have sex and whatever i don't know how i don't know the details on that but apparently this area according to this story only that area was known for that type of behavior so that's what they did so he knew what he was going out looking for but to just shoot her for no reason and leave her in the middle of the street do you think, I mean, I don't know. Why her, though? Why not know. one of the other ones on the block that night? I don't know. Again, it could have been, you don't know how many were out with her. You don't know, you know, 
who was available, who wasn't. Maybe other people were talking to other guys. You don't know. You know, I'm sure they'll come. I mean, it will be interesting to see the trial. I, I'm dying to see the trial. And it sucks, you know, that the trial is not there yet. I still can't believe the other guy basically got off with a misdemeanor assault charge. Oh, yes. Yeah. So let's talk about that real quick, right? He got charged with felony assault. Correct. Now, help me, Dark. He got yes. charged with felony assault of a hate crime. Yes. But because the hate of... Tra Wait a minute. Hold on. I wrote it down. I want to say it right, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Transgender is not covered hate under crime, gender identity is not yes. listed in the state of Texas as a hate crime yet. Yes. He only got charged with misdemeanor assault. How For fucked up is that? Very. Very. But it's How Texas. That's that? all I can say. It's Texas, so we're kind of behind. Yeah, it. Texas has some crazy laws, girl, but that's we're really behind. And all of that stuff, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately. He should I'll have been charged with something a lot more than that. It is really sad. So that's like the hard part. But, you know, here's the thing now. So this guy that murdered her, this Kendall, this Kendrell Lyles guy, right? We're going to show him again. God, he's up <laughs> Yeah, Speedy's a baby enough. fight, Kristen. This Kendra Lyle guy, when his trial comes out, I would love to cover this again, and I hope you guys would be here for that. But we looked through the transcripts, but with COVID, apparently, you know, it's hard because they have not put him at a trial yet. So we're just waiting. But pretty much the, the point of this live was we've been going an hour now, so we'll go like maybe another 20 minutes if you guys want to keep talking. But... Do you guys think being on the internet puts a target on your back? And then I'm going to show you. Matter of fact, should I show her last live now? Or not Not her last live, but she did a live that's very. Um, do I have it or do you have it? One of her. Um, About I, her good dreams. Oh, I, I'm sure you've got it. You. I think I have it. Hold on. I mean, I, I have it if it's in the show, but I have to find it. Uh, my thing just keeps coming because it's on Xfinity. I keep getting commercials. It fucks me up. It's the one where she's saying about your dreams. I can't find it dark. It's fucked up for me. Okay, but I, can, I need to know kind of, do you know where it is in the it's video? Towards the end. Okay. It says how she wants... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. Towards the very, very end? Yeah. Yes, yes, eight thinks so, Lisa. What does that mean, eight thinks so? Oh, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? It's, uh, you know, I actually want to do a story on this girl. Um, I don't remember her, why Dark's looking for that. It's the one where she's talking about her dreams, and she's like, follow your dreams. It makes you cry. Is she in a pink pink dress? Ugh, I wrote it down. I think I did hang on, one. hang on. Look at look at this one. Bring it up. Is it oops, sorry. Is it that one, do you think? Play it. Whatever you want to do, go get it. Go do it. Listen, it's okay. You have to be at the bottom. We all gotta start at the bottom. It just can't drop to the top. Chase your dreams, tackle your dreams. If you have dreams, tackle them. You heard it from Life Bird. So sad. He's Very. being held in Dallas County Court and is awaiting trial. Can you keep that? We'll play it again at the end. Yeah. So sad. Ah! Is it still playing? No, just me. There we go. I'm freaking out because it makes me want to be sad. I don't know. It's just sad. It is sad. They, all her friends said that she wanted to be famous. And unfortunately, she got famous. 
Then I, think, the I think Susie's right too. I think being on the internet does put a target on your back. It does. And it's very sad and very tragic. There's another story that about, um, I can't remember the girl's name. I'm going to look it up because I don't want to say the name wrong, but, um, you know, about how she was like, um, assaulted by a bunch of football players and she ended up killing herself on the East coast. So you guys, we're going to try to do this once a week. We're going to try to do a trivia once a week. We're going to try to do this once a week. This is hard for me guys. Cause I don't want to, I always feel like I don't want to ever tell the story in a wrong way and offend anyone and family, friends of these people. Not that they'll see my channel, but if they do, or I don't ever want to offend anyone. So, you're but this is fine, girl. This is sad. I mean, so like, what is it? If something happens bad, do you speak out? Do you not speak out? But then look what happens. It puts a target on you, right? It does. It does. But I'd rather. And you could end up murdered. So it's like, what do you do? Like, I can't imagine if I was in a spot. In like a, I mean, you know, we all go through things, you know what I mean? But if I was in a place to where I could speak out and like have a big voice, you know what I mean? Would I speak out about this or not about this, but say if something happened to me? Uh, we've talked about doing a, um, matter of fact, we can talk about this now. We've talked about doing a VD, a domestic violence stream. Um. You guys, if you would please DM me in regards to that. I don't want to have everybody put on blast in here. But if there's anybody that wants to share their story, please DM me to Cooking and Tea or DM me on at Jugs PhD or DM Dark or Tracy or Locked, any of us, whoever you feel comfortable with. But I do want to do a stream in regards to that. But, you know, it's it's hard, you know. So we got to be careful of everything now you never know what you say or what you do can i don't know does it put you on blast does it not is it worth it to speak out okay susie thanks susie i don't know dark what do you think is it worth it to speak out sometimes um yeah personally i would but that's me you know I think it's important. It's important, right? But it's does it put a target on you? If you don't speak out, then people aren't aware. I had no idea about this stuff. Yeah. I had no idea. I live in DFW, and I had no idea. I'm going to drop the link if anybody wants to say anything. Not negative, positive. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it... Dark says it's worth, I think it's worth it to speak out, but at the same time, it's scary too. I mean, even online with little tiny things. I mean, you guys see the like little drama. Oh, this one said this about me and this one said this about me. You know, like that shit gets kind of ugly nowadays. This is like a big thing. Like it makes... Oh. You froze. That's awesome. All this other stuff you pretty crying. much spinning. You True froze crime. I'm gonna find out about Cassandra for sure. I don't have a community tab because I'm not monetized, but um I will IG call you and we will figure this out. But yes, uh, we'll put her name out there for sure. I know she's been she's a missing girl, so I do know that, but yeah. I don't know. What do, what do you guys think? <coughs> I think I think you just need to speak out, whether you're it makes you a target or not. Well, you know, I don't. Do you guys watch? I know um, this is going to sound crazy, but Law and Order Special Victims Unit and Law and Order Organized Crime. I've watched that show for a long time, right? And they base it off of true stories. And it is hard. I mean, how do you, like, even, okay, for example, if somebody says, Lisa, I don't fucking like you, blah, 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 blah. And somebody else goes on, you know, and says, 
oh, but at least I love you or something, it can cause a whole fight. That's a minor thing. This is a major thing. So when when minor things happen, it causes problems. Like could, imagine major things. I wonder, and just in the back of my head, to me, do you know right. her? But the, see, to me, those minor things that you're talking about, they ain't worth the time to talk about. These you're things, not, right? Yeah. But do you think that he knew her? Like, did he know her from that? And he was like, he sought her out, maybe? I don't know. I don't think so. I personally, I don't know. I don't know. He it's doesn't, just a coincidence? I really think he was going down there and maybe he asked her to do something she didn't want to do, got pissed off. I don't know. I mean, well, I heard, you- like it's just a coincidence to me. So I'm not saying you're wrong and I'm not saying I'm right because I don't really know, but it's kind of weird, right? It's kind of a weird thing. It, no, it, it all is. It, it's weird that she gets beat up four weeks later. She's murdered. Dead. That whole situation is weird. And for it to not be the guy that was beating the crap out of her, doing it or anybody else there is crazy too well because remember dark when we watched the show right people were in an outrage because the guy that beat her up had was released on bond well but maybe then, that guy was that other guy's friend you never know could be i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but i'm just saying maybe he was there when she got beat up and so well, you know i was reading articles on it and there's a lot on it i mean um you guys have a um i put up at the bottom of my thing here if you want to find more stats and stuff there is a malaysia booker foundation that her mom started and it that's where i got the statistics from which is awesome um i don't know guys this is pretty much to have a conversation but we've been going like an hour or whatever. We're going to try to do this more often. Is anything anybody else wants to say, have an opinion on? I think before we, we end this, I know it's Sunday night. Everybody's got to get their kids to bed for school to not me. Cause my baby ain't school no more. And she that's passed wrong. her driver's test. Woo, 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 woo. I know that's so exciting. <laughs> Except she won't drive. <laughs> Not my car, because I guess I have the shitty car. Definitely, Raquel. Definitely. I know. And Raquel, you know, I want to keep doing more of this stuff. So if you guys got any stories, DM me. If you find anything that you think is awesome to talk about, DM me anytime. If you guys want to, um, if you know a lot about it, get with me you're more than welcome to come up here and help me go through it because i always drag dark with me or lock lock we're locked had a procedure this morning so she's probably knocked out but we love her too and lock we love you and um our friend irene buttons happy birthday to your son tomorrow happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday yes, happy birthday to your son tomorrow and I know Tracy. She was like, uh, yeah. There's no telling the motive, and that's hard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this live. I know we were kind of like back and forth a little bit, but try to do serious stuff. And you guys know I want to do fun stuff. We're gonna do some trivia next week. Um, gonna cook some more. Thank yes, you. Are we gonna make my sauce yet? Oh wait, no, the sliders. I didn't get to see the sliders. I made sliders the other night. Yeah, but you didn't tape it, nor did you go live. I know. Well, I have to. to. You were supposed to wait and do that live. <laughs> How long have I been waiting? What? When did you do it? I when know. I it's it's just been, you know, it's been a rough time. So, and you guys know. So, anyway, the the bottom says, if you, anyway you want to support the channel, go to my bio. You guys, if you want to find more information about Malaysia <laughs> and her story and her family, Malaysia, I put... I'm going to leave it running for a minute. The Malaysia Booker Foundation.org. It tells a bunch of stats about transgender people, transgender women, transgender women of color, and about Malaysia, period. Um, it's really awesome. We're going to end with playing that video again. Dark, can you cue it up for me, baby? Yeah.
Let me go back to second. Raquel, you could have came up this night, but yes, anytime. DM me, Raquel, if you have a story you like, I would love to have you. I dropped the link, but you didn't come. <laughs> All of her pain, Malaysia still had a message of hope we can embrace for the future. Okay, you have to be at the bottom. Now I gotta start at the bottom. You just can't drop to the top. Chase your dreams. Tap your dreams. If you have dreams, tap it. You heard it from Lightbird.